you know, I used to have a, a, pa a youth pastor named Rob Hansford in Las Vegas. Um, and he used to say, be happy that the devil thinks that you're a big enough threat that he is making problems for you, you know? And then I used to say this, he's just trying to get you to tap out. You know what I mean? He's trying to get you to give up and go back to where you used to be. And nothing would please him more than you using drugs. You know what I mean? Nothing would please him more to be helpless again and to be under his control and be under an addiction and be miserable and dope sick and trying to, you know, find pills and whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever it is. So I look at it like this. Some of you might not know I have a freaking cage in my neck. And uh, that happened from doing jujitsu. And my friend got me in a kind of like a rear naked choke and I didn't tap. And he cranked my neck till it crushed, broke, it broke, crushed two or crushed one vertebrae and cracked one and broke the other. So broke my neck and I didn't tap. And then I walked around for 10 years with a broken neck before I was able to get surgery. So I didn't tap and I've been through so much, you know, losing my, losing my brother was, you know, I mean, that's what caused me to take pills in the first place was I just could not handle, I could not handle that I lost my brother. I, my grief was so bad for 10 years I would walk around in a daze high every day pretty much and I'll just tell you nothing nothing is gonna make me go back to that okay so I appreciate it Satan for trying to do your job and I understand completely what you got to do but um i just want to let you know that you don't have any power over me okay so mm. <laughs>